ask you a question, and that is, what is in your life's blueprint? Number one in your life's blueprint should be, don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count, always feel that you have worth, and always feel that your life has ultimate significance. Don't be ashamed of your color. Don't be ashamed of your biological features. Somehow you must be able to say in your own lives and really believe it, I am black but beautiful. And believe it in your heart. Secondly, in your life's blueprint, you must have the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. When you discover what you're going to be in life, set out to do it as if God Almighty called you at this particular moment in history to do it. It falls your lot to be a street sweeper. Sweep streets like Michelangelo painted pictures. Sweep streets like Beethoven composed music. Sweep streets like Leontine Price sings before the Metro Metropolitan Opera. And sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. And so from an old slave cabin of Virginia's hills, Booker T. Washington rose up be one of America's great leaders, he lit a torch in Alabama, and darkness fled in that setting from a poverty-stricken area of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Marin Anderson rose up to be the world's greatest contralto so that a Toscanini could say that a voice like this comes only once in a century. And Sibelius of Finland could say, my roof is too low for such a voice. From crippling circumstances, there came a George Washington Carver to carve for himself an imperishable niche in the annals of science. Then came Joe Lewis and Muhammad Ali with our educated fists, all of them came to tell us that we can be somebody. Skin may differ, but affection dwells in black and white the same. And if I were so tall as to reach the pole, or to grasp the ocean at a span, I must be measured by my soul. The mind is the standard of the man. Finally, Finally, in your life's blueprint must be a commitment to the eternal principles of beauty, love, and justice. Don't allow anybody to pull you so low as to make you hate them. I close by quoting once more the man that the young lady quoted, Langston Hughes. One day he wrote a poem entitled Mother to Son. Well, son, I'll tell you. Life for me ain't been no crystal stat. It's had tax in it. Boards torn up places, but no carpet on the floor, bare. But all the time, I's been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you stop now. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you find this kind of hard. But I still going, boy. I still climbing. And life for me ain't been no crystal stair. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving.